welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we'll be using Action Essentials 2 to make a muzzle flash in iMovie 09. These techniques can also be used in iMovie 11, so feel free to follow along and enjoy. So, let's start with the tutorial. Um, let's actually not use our fingers like other tutorials. Let's use a, a gun. Not a real gun. This is an airsoft gun. You can get these at Sporting Goods and online from Amazon. They're fake. They're usually made of plastic. They have an orange tip on them, but you can cover that with tape. I don't recommend painting it. It's illegal, I think. So first, you want to make sure you pull the trigger and have the recoil. Now this is too much recoil. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. You want to have just a little bit. That looks much better. You want to kind of pretend someone's bumping the tip of your gun with a high five much better. So now let's get our two takes in. That's pretty good. And yeah, I like that one. Okay, let's go. So now we're in iMovie. I have my clip selected from my event library and it's in my project. But now we need to add the muzzle flash. So make sure you go to iMovie, click on preferences, click on the general tab and make sure the show advanced tools box is checked. Now we take our Action Essentials 2 clip we wish to use. Now there are two ways to do this. First way is a bit easier. Second way adds a bit more realism to it. So drag your clip and find the frame you want your muzzle flash to take place. That should be good. Click on picture in picture and then you can drag your muzzle flash around. Muzzle flashes tend to be pretty big so just drag it. Drag the edges here and make them uh, the correct size. Also this muzzle flash is in the incorrect orientation. So what you want to do is double click on it, go to video effect and click flip. And now the muzzle flash looks uh, looks to be the correct orientation. However, it still is a little small. So what you want to do is click on the little gear here. If you're having trouble seeing the gear, I recommend grabbing this 5 second bar here. I think it's set 5 seconds to default and change it to about change it much lower so you can see more frames. Click on cropping and rotation after clicking the gear. As the crop box gets smaller, your image gets bigger and now your muzzle flash can be a very decent size. That looks pretty good. One last little touch we could do is add that environmental flare. So take your mouse and highlight the areas where your muzzle flash is appearing. There we go. Right click on it, click cut, click paste. You might have to drag your muzzle flash one frame back. And now the muzzle flash is correctly lined up with our little image there. What you want to do with this 0.1 second interval is go to video effect and add one of these glow or something hard light. Heat wave could be pretty nice. I like glow. Now when the muzzle flash happens, the room gets a bit brighter. If you don't like glow, you can always double click on it, click on video, and change the brightness up and change the colors up so you can add a little bit of red to it. You could lower the other colors too. Things like that. Now when you scrub through it, iMovie will actually just pause and not really play it. That's okay. What you're worried about is how your final project will look, not how it looks in your timeline. That's one way to do it. But as you can see, the muzzle flash is very high quality compared to my low quality camera. So I'm going to show you the second way to do a muzzle flash in iMovie. Still uses Action Essentials 2. First, let's re-get my clip. Drag it in place. Click on your muzzle flash you wish to use again. 
find the exact frame. There we go. Now instead of using picture in picture, click on cutaway. Once again, orient your video correctly with the flipped if needed. Now don't freak out that your screen is now all black. You're going to have to change the opacity. Once you change the opacity, the color returns back to normal. I recommend bringing the opacity maybe to about 60-70%, something like that. What opacity does is it makes your muzzle flash a little more see-through. So you can see the objects behind it. It also kind of blurs your image as well. Now you can't now it's a little difficult to orient your muzzle flash around in the correct location. So you're gonna have to do cropping and rotation. It takes a little bit of practice. But you gotta kinda think backwards with your muzzle flash. There. Almost got it. Eh, close enough for tutorial purposes. So now it has a bit of blur. You can kind of see the objects behind it. Once again, highlight the seconds in the frame that, uh, that the muzzle flash is appearing. Right click on it. Click cut. Once you cut it, place it back in the same spot. Drag your muzzle flash over. Click on the tiny little segment. Add your glow effect or any other kind of video modification and you kinda have it. The last step would be to add sound effects. Sound can be very important for your video. If you have mediocre visuals, sound can more than compensate for it. I have links to some sound effect websites. You can also record decent ones from video games as well and other people make sound packs as well. If you're having trouble getting Action Essentials 2 and camera footage onto your computer so that iMovie can use it, click on the annotations that pop up Action Essentials 2 does pretty good muzzle flashes. They have uh, high quality images. They have a bit of a smoke effect to them. So it has pretty much what you need for simple muzzle flashes. If you have a question, leave a comment below and I or someone else will answer it when able. Click the links in the annotations that pop up throughout this video for more information. If you want to see other fantastic muzzle flash tutorials, I have links to some of my favorites below. Thanks for watching, more iMovie tips and tricks on the way, and good luck.